If you're over 60 and your balance has been feeling more unsteady lately, even during simple movements like turning around, walking across the room, or reaching for something, you're not alone. But here's something most people don't realize. It's not just aging. It's your body's balance systems, like your inner ear, your foot sensors, and your reflexive muscle control, quietly going offline from underuse. The good news? You can wake them back up. In this video, I'll walk you through four specific standing balance exercises that have been proven to work fast. They're safe, they're simple, and you can do them right from home. No gym, no equipment, and no pressure. This isn't a generic workout. You'll learn why each move targets a specific stability system in your body and how just a few minutes a day can start rebuilding your confidence, control, and independence. Let's get started. Balance doesn't just go bad with age. It fades when certain systems stop getting used. There are three key systems involved in balance. Proprioception. The sensors in your feet and joints that tell your brain where you are in space. Vestibular system. The part of your inner ear that helps with motion and head position. Muscle response coordination. Your body's ability to react quickly and stabilize itself. When you don't challenge these systems regularly, like by standing on one leg, turning your head, or shifting weight side to side, they begin to weaken. And unfortunately, this can lead to slower reactions, more stiffness, and an increased risk of falls. The exercises in this routine were chosen because they target each of these systems directly. One improves your ankle and foot control. Another retrains weight shifting and body awareness. A third rebuilds your stability line through posture. And the final one reactivates core to leg coordination. Even if you feel stiff or limited right now, these gentle movements are designed to meet you where you are and build you back up one step at a time. Let's now go into the exact moves you'll be doing and why they work so well. This first movement is called tandem standing, and it might look simple, but it's incredibly powerful for retraining the nervous system that controls balance. Here's how to do it. Stand near a wall or chair for support. Place one foot directly in front of the other, heel touching toe, like you're standing on a tightrope. Distribute your weight evenly between both feet. Keep your eyes forward, not looking down. Hold this position for 30 seconds, then switch feet. You'll likely feel some wavering or instability at first, and that's the point. This move challenges the entire stability line that runs from your feet through your hips, up to your core. What to focus on? Keep your knees slightly soft, not locked. Engage your core gently, like you're zipping up your belly button. Breathe naturally. Don't hold your breath. Let your arms relax by your sides, or keep one hand hovering over a surface if needed. Why it works so well. Tandem standing simulates the balance demand of walking, especially on uneven ground. It forces your ankles, knees, and hips to make tiny corrections, waking up reflexes that are often dormant in older adults. This one move trains ankle proprioception, postural stability, lower body coordination, visual balance processing, since you're using your eyes to stay aligned. Safety tips. Always do this exercise with a sturdy surface nearby. If you feel yourself tipping, reset your position. Don't force it. You can shorten the stance slightly if the full heel-to-toe position is too hard. Adaptation options. If the full tandem is too difficult, start with a semi-tandem stance. Front foot slightly offset, not fully in line. Or place a rolled towel under your back foot to reduce the difficulty. Progression idea. Once you feel stable, try doing this with your eyes closed for 5 to 10 seconds, but only with something to hold nearby. Removing vision increases the demand on your proprioception and vestibular systems. This is a foundational exercise in physical therapy because it mimics real-world balance challenges without movement. Mastering this one move builds the confidence and control to handle more dynamic situations like stepping over objects, walking outdoors, or shifting direction quickly. Let's move on to exercise two, one that brings your whole body into action through movement. Next up is a powerful full body move, standing march with arm swing. While it looks like a simple march in place, 
It taps into a deep coordination system between your arms, legs, and core, and trains your brain to sync everything back together. How to do it. Stand tall near a wall or sturdy chair. Begin marching in place slowly. Lift one knee up, then the other. As you lift each leg, let the opposite arm swing forward naturally. Keep your back tall, shoulders relaxed, and head level. Aim for 20-30 seconds of controlled marching, then pause, rest, and repeat for a total of two to three rounds. Focus on quality, not speed. You're training rhythm and control, not cardio. Why this is essential, marching with an arm swing integrates the left and right sides of the brain, which improves movement timing, spatial awareness, and full body coordination. Many older adults lose arm leg rhythm as they age, which throws off walking balance. This exercise resyncs that rhythm safely while building hip strength and core control. Key technique tips. Keep knees below hip height. No need to go high. Imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head. Let your arms swing naturally, not stiff or forced. If balance is shaky, keep one hand on a counter or chair. Safety guidance. Make sure the floor is clear. Stand on a non-slip surface. Start slow and only go as long as you feel stable. Have a sturdy object within arm's reach at all times. Feel it working. You should feel your hip flexors activating as your knees rise. Your core will subtly engage to keep you upright. You may notice your heart rate gently increasing. That's good. Adaptations. For added safety, place both hands lightly on a wall and just march the legs. If standing is too much today, do a seated march. Sit on the edge of a firm chair and lift your knees alternately while swinging your arms. Progression options. Try increasing duration to 60 seconds as your stamina grows. Add a small pause at the top of each knee lift to challenge your single leg balance. Close your eyes for five seconds while marching slowly to increase vestibular activation only if fully supported. This exercise helps reconnect your natural walking reflexes, making daily tasks like getting out of a chair, stepping off a curb, or walking down a hallway feel more secure. Next, we'll train your sideways stability and how to shift weight with control, critical for preventing falls. Now it's time to train one of the most neglected balance patterns, moving sideways. Most of our day is spent walking forward, but real-life stability depends heavily on your ability to shift and control your weight side to side. Whether it's reaching for something on a shelf, stepping out of a bathtub, or regaining your footing if you start to tip. This move is called the lateral step and reach, and it strengthens your hips, improves foot placement accuracy, and reactivates your side-to-side -side control system. Here's how to do it. Stand facing a wall or counter with your feet hip-width apart. Slowly step to the side with your right foot. As you step, reach your right arm out in the same direction. Bring your foot back to the center and return your arm. Repeat to the left side. Alternate for 10 reps each direction or set a timer for 30-60 seconds of continuous motion. Take a short rest, then repeat two to three sets. This is not a race. You're teaching your body to move with precision, not speed. Why this works so well? Lateral movements strengthen your hip abductors and glutes, which are essential for pelvic control and stable walking. They also train your brain to anticipate and correct shifts in balance quickly something that becomes slower with age. The added reach engages your torso and challenges your balance even more, forcing your core, hips, and ankles to work together. Technique tips. Step only as far as you feel stable. Keep both feet pointing straight ahead. Reach with a soft arm, not stiff. Imagine you're painting a line on the wall with your fingers, smooth and steady. Safety first. Always perform near a wall or support surface. Make sure there's plenty of space to either side. Don't twist your feet or pivot. Step and return in a straight path. If needed, perform only the step without the arm reach until you're more confident. Feel what's working. You should feel your outer thighs and hips working as you push off. Your core will help keep you centered. You may notice your foot placement becoming more deliberate over time. Modifications. If stepping is too much, try a side toe tap instead. 
tap the foot out to the side without shifting full weight. You can also perform this seated. Sit tall in a chair and reach one arm to the side at a time, engaging the core as you move. Progressions. Hold a light object in your reaching hand to increase demand. Add a short pause during the reach to build static balance. Try this in front of a mirror to check posture and foot alignment. Mastering lateral control is vital for preventing falls in real-world situations. With this one movement, you're reawakening an entire network of stabilizers, from your ankles to your core. Get ready. Next, we'll train reactive balance by working on your ability to stay stable even when your vision is challenged. This is where things get real. By now, you've trained your core, your feet, your hips, and your brain's sense of movement. But there's one balance system we haven't tapped into yet, your vestibular system. This inner ear system helps you stay oriented in space, especially when your head moves. And guess what? Most seniors stop training it, leading to dizziness, unsteadiness, and a lack of confidence when turning quickly or reacting to movement. This final exercise challenges that system directly with a simple but powerful movement. Standing balance with head turns. Here's how to do it. Stand near a sturdy surface or wall for safety. Place your feet together or slightly apart, whatever feels stable. Find a fixed spot on the wall in front of you to focus on. Begin turning your head slowly side to side, keeping your eyes on that spot. Keep your body still. Only your head should move. Do this for 30, 60 seconds, rest, and repeat two to three sets. It seems simple, but your body is doing a lot. Your inner ear is recalibrating, your brain is processing moving signals while your body stays steady, and your ankles are making micro-adjustments to keep you upright. Why this works so fast? Head turns simulate real-life disorientation, like looking both ways while walking, reacting to sounds, or turning around quickly. Training your balance with moving vision strengthens the coordination between your vestibular system, proprioception, and visual input. That's the trifecta of real-world balance. Form reminders, keep your shoulders relaxed, don't move too fast, slow and smooth is better, breathe normally, and stop immediately if you feel dizzy. Safety first. Use a wall or back of a chair for support. Keep your feet in a position where you feel confident. If you feel off balance, widen your stance or pause completely. What to feel? Slight sway in your ankles. That's your body adjusting. A mild sense of disorientation. This is expected and means the system is being trained. Confidence returning as your body adapts. Modifications. Start seated if standing feels risky you'll still get some benefit. Reduce head motion angle if it causes discomfort. Try shorter durations, 10, 15 seconds, and build up. Progressions. Close your eyes for a few seconds, but only if safe. Add gentle side-to-side -side sways while doing head turns. Try standing on one leg for short periods during the exercise. This movement reintroduces complexity into your balance, the kind of complexity your brain craves. Because in daily life, you don't just stand still, you move, turn, and shift. And now, your body is ready for that. Stick with these four exercises, and you'll be building not just balance, but resilience. Remember, balance doesn't disappear overnight, and it doesn't come back that way either. But with just a few focused minutes each day, you can reclaim it and keep it for life. If you've made it this far, you've already done more for your balance today than most people do in a week. Let that sink in. Because balance isn't built in a day, but it is built daily. And every time you show up, even for a few focused minutes, you're reactivating systems in your feet, hips, core, and brain that most seniors have stopped using. You're doing what most people think is impossible, retraining your body to stay steady and strong at any age. Let's quickly recap what we did today. You trained your core and posture with wall marches, you activated your feet and ankles with gentle heel taps. You reawakened your hip coordination with lateral weight shifts. And you rebuilt real-life stability with head turns and balance control. No pills, no equipment, no gym, just a little bit of attention, and a whole lot of impact. Now here's your challenge. 
Repeat this full routine just three, four times per week. As your stability improves, add reps or hold each movement longer. The secret is consistency, not perfection. If you felt more connected to your body after this, leave a comment saying, I'm reclaiming my balance. If this video helped you feel stronger, give it a like and share it with a friend or loved one who might benefit too. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell, because in our next video, we'll show you a full body follow along routine that takes this to the next level, especially if you want to challenge your stability while walking or moving more confidently outdoors. You're not done, you're just getting started. Stay strong, stay steady, and we'll see you in the next video.